We've all heard that protein is important, but what does it do? And why do we care about it for Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis? Hi, I'm Danielle, and I'm a virtual IBD registered dietitian nutritionist. And this video is for you if you'd like to learn more about protein needs for inflammatory bowel disease. Protein has many roles in the body. For example, it helps repair and build your body's tissues, so it plays a role in healing. It keeps the immune system strong, it transports and stores nutrients, and can act as an energy source if needed. It can also help us feel full as it takes longer for our bodies to digest. So how much protein do IBD warriors need? Something to keep in mind is that specific protein requirements should be tailored to each IBD warrior because different factors contribute to how much protein is needed. For example, here are five important factors that a dietitian will consider when working with someone with IBD as they can increase the body's protein requirements. A person's disease state, like if he or she is flaring versus in remission, body weight, losses from inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract, or if a medication like prednisone is causing protein breakdown in the body, Catabolism when infection is present, like if someone with Crohn's disease has an abscess, and healing with surgical wounds. So if any of those factors describe you, your needs may be significantly higher than someone without IBD or one of those factors, like needs may be increased up to 50%. A common question that I get from clients when they're flaring is, what foods are high in protein, low in fiber, and can be part of the diet if diarrhea and or abdominal pain are present? So here are some examples. First idea, tender, well-cooked meats prepared without added fat. So some ideas could be poultry or fish perhaps. But a key part of that actually is how you cook it or prepared that protein. So a couple pro cooking tips are use broth or water to cook meats at a lower temperature or cover the dish when baked in the oven so that the food cooks in its own juices. Crock pots work well with low heat and slow cooking to make meats tender. Or marinate meats first with an acidic ingredient such as uh, vinegar and oil, lemon juice, or even by using chopped raw pineapple and then pouring it off before cooking. Some other protein ideas are deli meats that are tender and thinly sliced. And to reduce potential bacteria in deli meat, you could even heat it to steaming. Well-cooked eggs, tofu, and smooth nut and seed butter. So for example, peanut butter, almond butter, and sunflower seed butter. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please let us know by liking it and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thanks.